All right, guys, time for your daily Druism. And today I brought in my coworker and friend, Alex. She's gonna be sharing some things with us. And I hope you guys have noticed that lately we've been doing a little bit different. We have a lot of guests on with me. I just want you guys to know the reason I'm bringing this in is because no one person knows everything and I wanna bring absolute most to you guys as far as your health and wellness. Allie? Okay, so it's no surprise that right now the popularity of superheroes in general is at an all time high. And surveys show that the number one superpower that people would choose would be the power of invisibility by like 60%. So even though we have a multitude of superheroes walking around our gym at any given time, we don't have invisibility here. It's ineffective at crunch. So for example, you're working out with your bro, and you're working out and you see some really hot chick, she's about 10 feet away, and you know, you got your romance going, you talk about everything under the sun. What you don't realize is that that girl suspected that you're really talking about her. And even though she took her iPod out and looked like she was switching songs, she really turned the volume down. Now she hears everything you're saying. That's all TNA. And you know what? Doesn't fly with her. So, even though you think you're invisible in the gym, everybody can hear what you're saying, pretty much. Okay. And another one. You're on the chest press, hammer strength, plated chest press machine, and you're feeling really swole. And some girl is working out across the gym. You decide you're done where you are, you're gonna walk over to where she is. And so you start walking over to her, and she looks at you, and you are looking swole, and you're looking really hot. But she looks at you, and she sees that you haven't re wrapped your weights, and you left a little bit of butt sweat and head sweat on the machine. And she's thinking, you know what? I would definitely fool around with him, even have sex with him. But she knows how she is, and she knows that if she does that, she's going to have a right to wanting to live with him. And then she looks back at that plated machine and how nasty he is, sloppy, and she decides she would never want to cohabitate with him. So you just lost out on that one, too. So the moral to that is everybody can see you in the gym. Re rack your weights, wipe down your machine. And number three, and I might retract this one, even though we have up on the wall in the free weight area, it's the grunt that gets you there. Please realize that when you have your head set on, you are louder than you usually are. And in your last couple of reps, that face that you have is your orgasm face. Yes, we know that. And the sound you're making is your orgasm sound. So I was going to say, you know, you're not invisible, you might want to check that. But you know what? It's fairly entertaining, it's kind of a turn on. So let's keep that one. So anyway, you are not invisible in the gym, even though you are superheroes to us. And now, Back to you. Thanks, Alex. All right, guys. So there's a couple quick do's and don'ts in the gym. Keep those in mind. So if you are one of those gym guys or gym girls, remember that everybody can see. We'll see you tomorrow.